Only my streets is bringing in money right now because I finessed the Russians, took Kai out, and wiped out the Castillos. Look, if you back me, I'll keep them in line, get your weight moving again. I will kill to protect my family. So an ex-lover killed Mecca. I understand the need for that control. Yeah, I'm sure we have many things in common. Y'all gave my money to the country club crooks, so your name is on that bill now, too. And y'all gotta make Norma whole again, too, so the only thing keeping you alive is your debt and you. We need to talk. It's up to me, can't be digging your grave right now. But lucky for you, you need to keep your little mind first. Am I clear? Yes. I'm tough on y'all, especially you, because I love you. I don't know any other way to show it. See who did this? It was Tariq. Tariq? <sighs> he thinks Monet sent Tommy after his mom. He's looking for payback. Okay. I don't know who. Tariq kills Monet. Kane kills Tariq. This is a gift from Monet to Hot. You stick to her story. I don't know. It was Tariq. You tried to kill our mother. What are they talking about? Tell them what happened. You almost killed me, too. What did you do? I told Noma that you were threatening her daughter. We're working together, and I have a future with her, so couldn't let that happen. I think we just started. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4, Monet Tejada. This is the early predictions for Monet. So down below, I want you guys to let me know exactly what do you think is gonna happen for Monet Tejada in Season 4. We know she got popped by Tasha at the end of Season 3. So she's recovering right now. And I'm going to tell you, as soon as she recovers 100%, hell, it ain't even got to be 100%. As soon as she's able to get up out of that hospital, it's going to be hell to pay. And she will be trying to seek revenge this next upcoming season. Now, you guys, make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 Early Predictions for Tariq. I also dropped the Early Predictions for Rashad Odal Tate. And I dropped the early predictions for your boy, Davis McLean. And if you're a fan of The Shy, check out The Shy Season 6 with Rob Comfort Duda. And I also dropped The Shy Season 6, Bakari's deal with Duda. Most likely you already know that's going to yield some deadly consequences. So check those videos out. Continue to keep yourself updated on all the latest news. And you already know I'm going to continue to give you guys these videos. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Your girl, Monet Tejada. She will be looking for revenge. We know she was on one in season three. Things did not go her way because Dirty Diana and Drew decided to flip on her once they found out the truth about Lorenzo. And as Lorenzo stated, the kids, they would never forgive you. Well, it seems like Kane did because we know in Drew's words, Kane is a mama's boy. Even though Kane and Lorenzo got real close this season, and it really seemed like he cared for his pops. I mean, he even told him he would never let him down again at the funeral. But it seems like when it comes to Monet, Kane has a weak spot for his moms. But we know Dirty Diana and Drew, they ain't going for that. So they decided to set her up. We know Diana has second thoughts. The game plan to set her up did not go as planned. Tasha popped up to the party, popped Monet. Now Monet, she's, you know, recovering, right? The sad part is Diana and Drew set all of this up. Monet is thinking that Tariq gave them intel about Lorenzo and her, you know, taking him out or setting that up at least. But Tariq didn't do any of that. He didn't do it at all. That's Drew and Diana. And that leads to what was going to happen next season because we know what we were waiting for. We we're waiting for Monet to find out the truth. She wants to know who really did this. And as I told you guys in my last video about Power Book 2 Ghosts, 
Monet did have all those cameras there. One of you guys pointed that out. Y'all said that she had all those cameras at that house. We know in this last season, she you know was looking at those cameras because of Detective Kevin Whitman, right? So what if Monet is able to see what happened, if she's able to look at those cameras? Now, I don't know if they're going to go that deep into it. I mean, they could just not even mention the cameras at all, but that would be crazy if they actually brought them up and she was able to see. We know this. That is, she will find out the truth. I don't know how it's going to happen, but Monet is definitely going to find out that she was set up. Dirty Diana and Drew are not going to get away with this squeaky clean. It's just not happening. And we talked about Tasha. We know Tasha shot up Monet, but you guys did mention that the only reason that even happened was because of the whole Tommy thing because Tasha is thinking like, okay, Monet sent Tommy, you know, the location of where Tasha was at, which means that she could have got taken out. Luckily, her and Tommy squashed the beef, but that made Tasha say, you know what? I got to take her out. She's putting me at risk. She is, you know, making you know, moves against my son. I cannot have it. I got to take her out. But it's wrong information because we know that was a complete setup. So when Monet finds out, I want you guys to let me know. Do y'all think she's willing to take out her own kids? Will she take out Diana? Will she take out Drew? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, based on what we've been seeing, she ain't going to probably hesitate on Dirty Diana. She been wanting that smoke with Diana since the very beginning because she feels like Diana is the reason, the real reason why Freaky Zeke ain't here no more. Now, I already told y'all, Monet, her secrets and all that stuff that she's, you know, kept she gotta you know learn to accept what has happened she brought zeke around this this is the same thing noma told her she would try her best not to bring her daughter around this lifestyle well monet as lorenzo said you brought zeke around this so deep down inside i believe monet feels like yeah i messed up but she is still pissed off at diana for doing what she did in front of everybody you know, it could have been a better way that Diana could explain that to Monet. But we know that Monet wasn't really trying to talk to Diana when Diana was trying to talk to her about that. And then we seen that big argument. Diana just let it all out. And of course, these are the consequences of that. A lot of the fans blame Diana for telling Lorenzo what was in that bag. That made Lorenzo go out there and search for Monet. He ends up popping Freaky Ziki trying to, you know, take out your boy Mecca, which was completely wrong. I mean, who shoots at a target where you can't even see their face? Like, come on. Come on. As I told y'all, Lorenzo's character seems like he got dumb as hell once he got released and he wasn't really fearful at all. But that's just me. But regardless of all that, now Monet has to figure out who's done this. And as I told you guys, that the how the family, the downfall will come from within. All Tariq has to do is prove that Diana and Drew set this up. How will he do it? I don't really know, but he needs to figure it out because if he's able to do that, Monet's not going to give a damn that Tariq came at her. All she's going to give a damn about is Drew and Diana. And like, okay, they try to take me out. The reason all of this happened is because of them in the first place. You know, Diana putting on that low budget beat up wig to go to Kate Egan talking about this is from Monet. Like, really? Take that off your head. She looked like the great value Monet trying to act like she was big and bad. But I guess it worked right for the time being. But we already know she will be exposed. Her and Drew. I mean, I want Drew to go more than anybody. He can just go plain and simple. I ain't trying to see him getting clapped up each and every season. He don't know what he wants to do. You can just go. I really hope Kane drops him off. Hell, Kane or Tariq can drop Drew off. That's all I'm saying. Now, there is rumors out there that saying that, you know, Monet and Michael Ely's character, which we know he's going to be coming in on law enforcement, that, you know, they may just hook up. You know what I'm saying? He may just clap those cheeks, y'all. We're going to see. But I know he's going to be out there looking for revenge just based off his storyline alone with his wife being taken out. I mean, I cannot wait to see that. But... Y'all leave those early predictions for Monet Tejada down below. I do think she's going to get revenge on her kids and she's going to have the opportunity to take them out if she really wants to. The question is, will Monet really do it? We've seen her take 
numerous of people out. She was plotting and planning on Lorenzo before he even confessed about it. And to be honest with you guys, in my opinion, even if Lorenzo would have told her earlier, this girl Monet still would have took him out over Freaky Ziki. She didn't play about him, man. That was her favorite. That was her way out. But it did not go the way that she planned it to go. Now, besides all of that, I'm expecting Monet and Noma to have a very interesting relationship. And that all depends on how Noma behaves after that, you know, huge season finale shootout. Noma can be like, screw all that. I ain't messing around with y'all. She could just be flat out pissed. But I believe they probably still will be working together. And, uh, you know, just to see them two have business together will be very interesting and working around with Effie as well. We know Monet, she don't give a damn about Effie. She told Kane that he's whipped and that Effie is looking out for herself. So expect in season four, you know, for Monet to still not trust her at all. And I would not be surprised if she plots and plans on Effie. Now, I do think that Kane and Monet and their relationship will continue to grow next season, mother and son. And those two, once everything is figured out, they're going to have to plot and plan on Diana and Drew. And they can't be acting dumb. You know what I'm saying? Monet, she already stated that she felt like she can't trust nobody for real, right? She told Tariq that at the very beginning of last season that she feels like he was the only one that she can really trust. Well, don't be acting stupid. Don't recover and start acting like everything is good with your family. You need to realize that they could have set you up. You know what I'm saying? But we know Diana was in the car, so Monet... Her thoughts was going to be all over the place. Like, man, I don't know what happened. I don't know who to trust. She going to be on one, man. All I'm saying is this, Monet, when you find out who did this, you cannot hesitate. You're going to have to rather take out Drew or Diana. If not, don't be surprised if one of them end up taking you out. But this time around, they actually finish the job. We going to see. But Kane and your girl Monet definitely going to have to step up to the plate. And I'm expecting the Tejada family to destroy themselves. And I'm hoping down the line that we can see that Tasha and Monet showdown. But then again, things may change once the truth is revealed. Because, I mean, Monet is going to be like, okay, so Diana and Drew, they really did this. So all of this really happened because of them. So that can change the whole storyline. But we're going to find out soon enough. And I also came with to see... You know, how Monet and Davis McLean's relationship is going to be in this next upcoming season. We talked about how Davis still had that, you know, police foul just in case Monet tries something. He needed that as leverage. So it is what it is. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.